we start off with our 40mm pipe guard using a K2 head and that is inch and a half and which is equivalent to 40mm using a ratchet use the lubricant on our hook uh, so that when we pull up our branch it comes up evenly and without splitting our pipe place our pipe in our vise with our guard and the guard is evenly spaced inside the chain vise with the end of the pipe level with the back of the guard. Scratch the half round file across the face, score in it and so that way you mark the centre of our branch. Use a centre punch for our drill and we're going to use a 6mm drill as our centre pilot. Now we use our K2 drill and we drill down until the outside casing sits flush on our copper pipe. That's our hole diameter for our 40 mil copper branch. Use our rat sail file, we remove the burr and uh, we cl clean it inside and outside but more so inside. C clean it so that when we do pull our branch we don't split our copper pipe. When we use our hook, we will lubricate both sides of our hook and then that will make our work a lot easier and it won't split our copper. All right, we do not anneal the copper pipe when we do branch pulling. If you anneal it, the downforce pressure with the outside casing will crumble your pipe. So everything is done hard drawn. When we start, we go anti-clockwise and at the start it will be difficult because the hook is an uh, inch and a half and we're working with 40 mil copper pipe. You hold the main outside casing and while you use your ratchet to pull up your hole. When you are finished, when the, when the hook has come through for our penetration, the penetration will be done three quarters complete. As you can see the the shiny part is where there is downforce pressure and because it's hard drawn as I said before it won't crumble. We now anneal the top of our branch and we, we heat it up with a, um, a size 12 tip and we get and we heat it to a cherry red colour and we anneal it evenly. As we anneal it we'll be burning off the grease that was on the hook and later on we will clean that with our steel wool. Once we have annealed it, we will use our 32mm galvanised mandrel pin and we will enlarge our hole to fit our 40mm copper pipe. You only need to address it softly, we only tap in the top and there's our pipe that fits in our hole. Using our template, we will now mark with our branch pipe, we, we score our centre line, so that lines up with our score on our waste pipe. Using our template, now we mark the contour of our branch. We will now use our snips to cut the contour so it will fit in evenly with our fabrication that we've done. As you can see, with the, using the K-tool, you have got less on the side and that's why we have to cut the contour so it fits in evenly. Using your half round file you remove the bird that you have caused by using the snips. Once you have done that, use your dimple pliers for your depth. Once the branch is in place, use your 12 mm bar just to tap your collar back in. Use your template to the right angle, using a ruler, you check that the bottom of the pipe is straight. When you use the K tool, sometimes the pipe will bow. If, if that happens, then you will have to anneal it and bend it back straight. But at the moment, this one looks good. Clean the inside of our fabrication with steel wool. You remove the excess fat or oil that's inside there. We also clean our branch pipe 
to have a cleaner weld. Using that neutral flame and our template, we hold the branch in position, put a tack on the downstream, and then a tack on the upstream, and then we would recheck with our template. And if you see a bit of daylight through your template and your pipe, loosen your weld and then push your pipe forward. Once you've done that, you put a tack on the side, on the two sides, and then you start welding from a new spot. Complete your weld, or tack, tack the two sides, and then you start welding from a new spot. Once your weld is complete, cool down your work in your quenching bucket. Let's have a look on the inside for our finished product and there's no penetration. Job is now ready to install. Final check with our template and everything looks fine.